Welcome to Pre D&D 3D. I'm your host, Frank. In this episode, we are building the Sea Ghost, a smuggler ship that you see before me here, which is featured prominently in the Ghosts of Saltmarsh campaign for Dungeons and Dragons 5th edition. <clears throat> Let's go build it.
So as you can see here, the Sea Ghost comes with a wheel, but it's not a steering wheel. It's actually used for what's called a capstan, which is used for pulling on ropes for various reasons on a, on a sailing ship, including lifting the anchor. Um, no, the Sea Ghost, uh, it seems, uh, d was designed to be steered with a tiller, but I felt like a wheel was more appropriate for my campaign. So I decided that I had to make a helm to put this wheel on. So, as you can see, I made the helm with a basically a half a cylinder and a cube and then uh, threw a peg on the side to hang the wheel off of and I uh, basically just drilled a one eighth hole in the wheel and that worked and uh, the uh, if you if you see on the the deck here of this ship but the one inch grid is actually made with a V groove shape. So I uh, put a triangular point on the bottom of the helm in order to help center it. And uh, it actually uh, kept it there nicely while it was gluing. And uh, <clears throat> While I don't actually have any video of the helm getting printed, you can see it here in some action shots. I do feel like the wheel is a important set piece on the ship. Like on that battlefield, it, it just looks like it wouldn't be the same without it being there. Anyways, on to the next step.
<clears throat> All right, so here it is. Um, it's I. What what can I say about it? I love the ship design. I love how it sticks to all the blueprints of the uh, book, and how it all comes together, including with a crow's nest and a wheel. The only thing that was missing was this little piece right here. But, I'm, but I, uh, I made something that uh, works pretty good. As uh, some of you guys may have noticed, I was a little bit, uh, shall we say, impatient while painting this last time. Um, 
because it was, in fact, a game day that I wanted to use the ship. So, my players used the ship, and uh, it worked out fucking pretty, pretty sweet. But uh, next session, we're resuming on the ship, and I want to have the ship fully painted by then. So, that gives me less than two weeks. Now, what I can do here is I'm going to touch up everything that I screwed up. As you can see, I flipped these while they were wet. And if I wanted to have that look to it, that would have been great, but I don't I don't seek that that look right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to actually take these and fix them. So if I can just get the wheel off of here. Toss the wheel there. And that's glued on there, so it's not coming off. We put the just gently like that. And as you can see again there, there's a the spot. That's the bottom of this one. The bottom of this one's fine. We'll do the top of this one. And oh look. Spoilers for Ghost of Saltmarsh. Right here. Right here. Spoilers. I'll just get that that lizard folk right out of there.
all for now, folks. Stay tuned for part two of the Sea Ghost that I plan on doing sometime in the future, where I will do a more detailed paint job and add some barrels and crates and fun things like that to the inside. But before I do that, my players have been begging me to build the ship of our first campaign, my first campaign, the Constancy. So that will be the next major project. Until then, check you later.